welcome to a new video. Okay, I don't know what that was all about. Right, I know in last week's video I was like, I don't even know if I'm making these videos anymore. No one even watches these videos anymore. What a mug. Listen, oh, it annoys me that no one watches these videos anymore. Of course it does. I spend hours editing these stupid videos. No one watches these videos. No one watches these videos, but you know what? Actually, I don't care. I like making these videos. It's a hobby. And even if one person watches it, I'm happy. I'm not. More than one person needs to watch these videos. Anyway, look, listen, basically, what's going on this week? I don't know. It's currently Wednesday. Christina has purchased some comedy tickets for Paul Merton. Here he is, if you don't know who he is. You must know who Paul Merton is, he's famous. Anyway, so we're going up to watch some improv from Paul Merton. That's basically everything. And then I'm working Friday and Saturday and then Sunday I'm off. We've got to find some things to do. One thing I did want to talk to you about, I'm going to put the camera up here so I can talk to you seriously. Serious music. I'm going to talk to you about the paranormal. Right, I believe in it. I believe in the paranormal. Christina don't. She thinks when you die, you die. Everything goes black, you don't know what's happened. I don't like to think that because it scares the absolute shit out of me. Anyway, I was talking to our cleaner this morning. I was literally standing on the bar, we were having a chat, and she started, she, she started telling me this story about on Sunday morning, at about eight o'clock in the morning, she put a glass, a heavy glass, on one of the tables, walked off, and the glass flew off the table and shattered on the floor. Now obviously, this my ears pricked up like this. And I'm like, right, do you believe in ghosts? And she's like, she's like, yeah, I do. Because when I first started working, I used to be banging, coming out of the kitchen and all this kind of thing. And I'm like, oh my God, this is this place is haunted. So like, we were talking about it. And as we were talking about it, I was like, I looked to my right and this black ball, I don't know what it was, it flew over the top of my head and it made me like jump. And I looked and I thought nothing of it. And I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking, did anyone see that? And I looked back at the cleaner, <clears throat> Lynn her name is, and she was looking at me and she went, what the f was that? And I was like, did you just see something? She went, I saw something black fly over your head. And I'm like, oh my God, as we're talking about the paranormal, something has just flown over my head. And I saw it and she saw it and it's mental. And I thought, oh my God, this is real. So what I decided to do to try and prove the whole glass flying off the table situation. I came up to look at the CCTV that we have filming 24 seven in this pub. I've gone back to the day she's talking about. I've gone to the time she was talking about, right? And basically this is very strange. I, I, I watch her come into the bar, but between the hours of half seven and half eight, camera cuts out. What is all that about? That's not a coincidence. I went on the following day and it just runs smoothly. This is very strange. I'm like, I, don't, I can't, it's odd. All I'm saying is I, I'm actually thinking about doing some kind of paranormal video where we kind of maybe, me and Christina maybe might investigate something somewhere, maybe even this very pub and, and see whether or not we can capture some sort of evidence on camera that this pub is haunted. So it'd be interesting to go along the journey with her to try and convince her that actually this does exist. This is my thought process. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this week's intro. I know I'm boring you after death, but look, this is what I believe. Comment below and let me know whether you actually think I should do some, like a video like this. I'm sitting there talking about the, the content that I'm making at the moment, no one even bothers to watch. Maybe I'll kind of make some sort of different kind of content, maybe something like that, and it, it might, it might, it might be more interesting for people. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. No one's gonna let me know because no one cares. But look, this is it. Anyway, I'm, I'm up in the office at the moment because Christine decided to come up here and print off these Paul Merton tickets. We're at the Museum of Comedy for what's his name? Paul Merton's. Oh, let's have a look at this unicorn then. Oh right, we're on our way home at Victoria Station. Christina's on her phone as usual. We've only gone and got the bacon double cheeseburger from Burger King, which is where Christina started her obsession with beef. I can't get E. coli from that now. So we're on the train. 
Mm. We've just gone to see some improv. Mm. It, was, it was fantastic, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And so you got hauled up on stage. I was only on, I was part of the performance. Standing and I, on I, stage. I was seething with jealousy. Was you? Why do you think I didn't laugh while you were up there? I did notice she weren't laughing. I, I know, just and, and, and the lady running it noticed it as well. So after we met her, she goes, mm, I did notice she was really upset when I asked your friend up. So we got to meet everyone after. Paul Burns. Mm. Why did and you keep the lesson? Is the, he's like, when you say a Burger Kings and Starbucks and uh, a dozen of us, it's Costas. Oh, Costas. Oh. Here's a picture. Mm. Well, I've had enough of this. <laughs> just saying I have to get a picture of everyone. That's what I do. And here is the picture. But it was a great night, and now Christina wants to try improv. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, Lauren was fabulous, and I, I kept on track with her. She leaves a penge. Yeah, and we got on after, didn't we? She, like, she gave me a hug and she goes, so yeah. I mean, um, I do think friends are my friends when they're not real me. I mean, it's happened much in my life. You're, you're happy <laughs> You know who you are. It is Friday. A bit of a mental night last night, what with being pulled up on stage with Paul Merton and uh, getting involved in the old improv comedy. It was a really good night actually, he loved it. Christina loved it so much, she's heading back up there tonight on her own. Anyway, see you when I see her. It's Saturday morning, I'm back at work. So, nothing majorly to update you on. Last night I was working. Christina headed up to the old Museum of Comedy again last night, on her own. There's another improv session and it had a different famous person this time. Christina somehow managed to find find herself in the little green room area afterwards. Sat down and had a few drinks with him, got a bit of advice on like improv. She got pictures with him, one of them on stage, so here's the two pictures. I mean, I don't know how she gets herself into these situations to be honest, <laughs> but she had a great night. Anyway, that's all for now, see you later. It's Monday, not a huge amount going into this week's video. What a surprise. Christina isn't well again. She's just, every day she's not well, it's just, it's terrible. She's currently got a terrible cough. She's had it for about two months on and off. She's got to go and get chest x-rays done now to check that there's nothing sinister going on. She's been to the doctors. So yeah, she's just not well again, which is not good. That's it really. Hearing things, I'm literally hearing things now. I'm obviously hearing things. I'm genuinely serious about this uh, this whole paranormal thing. Just really uh, believe in it. Everyone I speak to thinks that I'm an absolute lunatic, but I'm considering doing something about it. I'm trying to capture something on camera. It seems to be quite popular on YouTube, basically. Not only do I want to capture something to prove everyone wrong, but I want to um, get more, more than three and a half people to watch these videos. <laughs> That's a car. It's currently Monday come to the end of this week's video. However, before I end this week's video, I need to update you on cue the serious music. More weird stuff has been going down at work. Chatting to the cleaner, Lynn, again. The other day, only ever seems to be when it's me and her in, so either I've got some sort of spirit attached to me that I'm bringing in the pub, or she has, or something weird's going on anyway. But it only ever seems to be when it's just us. Basically what's happened is I was upstairs sorting the tills out, I came downstairs and she told me that she thought she'd heard an old woman with slippers shuffling along the bar all the way to the other end of the bar and back again and I can actually see her on camera stop and stare and wait for someone to come out she thought someone had come into the bar without uh, someone had come in nothing there, nothing there, no cameras picked it up very strange and then me and her were out the back and we heard the door go someone coming in in the bar double bang off the door which is the noise that that door makes when someone comes in we've come in to see who who was in we thought it was the chef no one no one in the bar none of the cameras picked it up <sighs> only ever when me and her are there Something strange is going on. Um, only seems to be in the morning. Always seems to be around the same time. There never seems to be any evidence of it. <sighs> Very strange. Look, um, I'm ending this week's video. Thanks for watching. See you when I see you.